Ladies and gentlemen, good morning here on a very special Tuesday as League of Legends has now released its quote-unquote full spectator mode. So what does this mean? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. So as you log in to League of Legends, you're going to see this new spectate live widget which used to be where the news used to go but now the news is going to be down here featured items on sales videos you know the normal that's cool so spectate live it comes in it's going to give you five games which is going to apparently have you know some of the top of the top talent you mouse over it it'll tell you exactly who's in the game who they're up against nice scrolling background and you can scroll between the games it will tell you how much uh, time has passed and it was not going to tell you the scores or anything oh there's Soter. hi Soter and you can just watch now. This is supposed to be the strength of the new spectator and these are the quote featured games. So you know what? I think a featured game with some of these pros sounds like a great idea. So let's go see Chaos and Dyrus as they dual queue or sorry Dyrus and Odd One as they dual queue and remember these guys are all streaming at the same time so what I could do as well is I could load up the game here and then I could load up their stream and that way you get the commentary, the music, the entertainment value. But the problem is, unless they've delayed their stream three minutes or so, then there's going to be a little bit of a, you know, discrepancy. So typically, if you do like watching some of these pros and you're there for their music or their commentary or their hijinks or whatever, it'll be probably a better value. Ugh. Now we load in. It'll probably be a better value to actually still go to their stream and enjoy. Now, I am totally hands-free at this point. I have not touched anything. The game is kind of just running like a movie. And this is one of the strengths that Riot Games said that they were going to try to bring to this. Hands off view. So, my hands are in my lap. I actually just have a, my tea. So, you know, it's almost like you're sitting back and watching a movie. Now you do see everything else in there. I do got the colorblind mode on, so it's all still red. You can still see all the items. You can still see all the specs and their gold and everything. I'm actually going to take the mouse now. You, know, you can still go through any of this, look at anything here. But these are the new time shift controls. Which means that, you know, you can actually go back all the way to the beginning of this match to see how it started off if that's something that is interesting. So you know we're eight minutes into this game. We're currently live. I can pause the game if I so choose. Everything is now paused which means I am not live. See this? The timer keeps going up but I am just standing still. I, If I want to go back to seven minutes I can. I can go back to seven minutes and see exactly what happened seven minutes ago. Apparently I can't go back to there, but I did join at the 7 minute mark, so I can go all the way back and then replay it just as is. Now, down here is the directed camera. Again, as you see, I take my hands off. It follows exactly as it's supposed to. Uh, yeah, so you can actually go back to a manual camera, or we can jump to our players. And this is supposed to give you a much better idea. So, if you want to load in just to watch Dyrus, you can literally just load in to watch Dyrus. Which one is Dyrus? Dyrus is three. There, directed camera. We're not gonna. We're gonna turn you off. If I only want to watch Dyrus, all I have to hit is th double tap three, and this will show me nothing but Dyrus. Nothing but Dyrus. So, as you can see, some of these uh, tools are going to be very useful for things like uh, learning camera movements, learning pro strategies. It should be a huge burn when it comes to learning the game itself, because now we have a big source of high elo games for a lot of people to watch. There's a lot of people that play League of Legends. So, that's it. If you want to go back to the directed camera, just hit D, and the directed camera will actually go. Now, I believe it's spacebar. If I want to look at Spacebar, it'll go to, quote, a new contested region. So you know what? If I don't like watching uh, Odd One do the jungle, I'll just hit Space. Look, there's a fight bottom. Runs a little bit of the exchange. Or I could go top because Run on Rice is going to be trying to hit up Dyrus. But he missed. It's okay. 
Westrise does have the Mordecai's roll upon him, so, you know, spacebar, very useful. Directed camera for the hands off. You can always go back to your manual camera, just in case you're looking for something specific. 1 to 5, Q to T, double tap them, follow your guys. Let's go all the way back to live. Let's use that. So, it's been a quick, quick overview of uh, the spectator mode. So, guys, load into the game. Check it out. Let Riot know what you like, what you dislike, what they could do better. Paris is doing a good job in this top lane. He always does a good job. Either way, go out, enjoy the new spectator mode, the new time shift controls. And remember, if you miss that kill, you can always pause, rewind, and watch it all over again. <laughs> Work or Jester.